Hey all, welcome to Barker's Reef. And today, it's Saturday, I thought I'd take you in, give you a bit of a tour through the livestock we've got in store at the moment. We've got some cracking corals and some absolutely gorgeous fish. So today I'm gonna to focus just on the livestock. Let's go get into it. Jump straight into the fish today, and we've got some uh, absolutely gorgeous lytale anthers here. Really nice colours. These ones are Australian caught by uh, Cairns Marine, so they're um, hand caught fish. And uh, the colours they have are just gorgeous. Plenty of those in at the moment make a really nice uh, school of fish. And then uh, if we come up here, we've got a Wetana Bay. I guess you'd call it a harem in that uh, we've got uh, one male there, a big male, and uh, three females, which is. Um, a pretty unusual grouping. Normally you'd find um, one and one perhaps, but uh, one male, three females is a uh, good assortment. Now if the trio isn't, uh, sorry not the trio, the trio of females to one male is uh, a bit out of the price range because uh, we've got 260 a pair or 150 each, so it's going to be 260 for the pair plus another 150, plus another 150 to get the full uh, harem, but uh, if you're just after a standard pair, I believe we do up there. Just a uh, male and female together there. If you don't want the full four fish assortment, you can get uh, the pair there, which is always cool. Also got this uh, crazy looking guy here. Big aggressive looking fish. I'm just trying to see what he is. Some sort of hogfish. I'll have to check with Dave on that one. Looks like he's gonna uh, be fairly aggressive and eat uh, a lot of things in the tank big puffer there and uh, this guy here is an absolutely beautiful wrasse. Come up here we got some uh, flame hawks in. These little guys still settling in but uh, absolutely full of character. Got uh, plenty of the uh, pyramid butterflies in. Beautiful colors too. They've settled in now. They've been here for a week so their uh, faces are starting to darken up a little bit and the yellow is getting even more vibrant. So these flame hawks are Technically not a pair, but uh, they seem to be very comfortable with each other hanging out most of the day. And some more wrasse, we got uh, some more uh, flame hawks. Nice anthea hiding up in the corner there. Vanderbilt chromus. Oh, and getting close, you can see the colors. This dude's always interested in the camera. Super cool fish, beautiful uh, rabbit fish there. Gold bar, but check out the color. I'll see if I'm getting close on some of these uh, Vanderbilts. They've got beautiful, intricate colors and markings. Pretty cool as far as chromos go. And uh, yeah, that sunburst anthea. It's a shame he's hiding up in the corner there because he's got some beautiful colors too. Head on over here, we've got these uh, bicolor antheas, which are. Not something we see all that often, and uh, the camera's gonna try and pick up the colors on them. They've got this very, very vibrant uh, purple splash through them along their uh, fin, which is just um, very hard to really show on camera. Nice little wrasse down there, more flame hawks. Got some more bicolors here. Let's see if you can see the colors on these guys a bit better. Beautiful fish. And then uh, we got the uh, barb. Barbori. Seahorse, I believe they're pronounced, which uh, you can see they've got these little uh, spiky bits on them. The other thing I noticed with these guys is they seem to be super active. Uh, normally you just see seahorses like uh, these guys down here, sort of maxing, relaxing, taking it pretty easy. These dudes are absolutely full of life. If I was ever going to do a seahorse tank, maybe they would be the ones I'd go for. I don't know, they just seem to be much happier and much more active. Cool, cool fish. All right, I'll scoot through these ones pretty quickly because I know you guys want to see the uh, corals. Beautiful little dwarf angel there. He's been here a little while. I'm surprised he hasn't sold yet. Got some uh, platinum clowns in there. Come up here to uh, the Chromus and of course the, um, the star of the show in regards to clowns at the moment and these beautiful uh, mocha storms. Beautiful pair of mocha storms which um, and they've got some very nice markings. They're a good sized fish too. I'd say they're a good uh, five to six centimeters long. 
And uh, the blue green chromis are absolutely beautiful as well. Plenty of color. Come along this way, we've got some more clowns. We've got a high fin snapper. Not something you see every day. Pretty cool unit. Got a trio of puffers in which have uh, sold to uh, a friend of mine down in Geelong, Luke. If you've seen his tank on the channel recently when he just set up a Cade, I think these trio of puffers are gonna go into his, uh, you know, another one of his tanks, a Predator tank. It's a fox face, sail fin. Got your standard misbar clowns in here and a gigantic lipstick. Absolutely stunning. I believe that one's a female looking at the, uh, the tail. Gorgeous fish. Some more uh, designer clowns up here. Looks like some uh, snowflakes, black snowflakes. Yep. Very, very nice. Uh, we'll pop over this way. Quick look, we've got some cleaner shrimp in at the moment. Full of life. Quick little sneak peek at some of the uh, hammer overflow. <laughs> A few extra hammers and torches. Gorgeous little uh, convict tang in there. I believe he's a convict. Where's my old mate? The, uh, there he is, the molly. Still in here waiting to be food for the uh, zebra eel, but uh, he's, he's loving life. <laughs> he's been in there for ages, the uh, zebra eels, seemingly not interested in eating him. Gorgeous little copper band as well. All right, let's move on over to the corals. Button scully assortment. It's had a little bit of an algae outbreak, but uh, we've got Trochus in there now cleaning that up and they're doing a great job. You can see by the uh, how clean the racks are in here. This one was pretty taken over by algae not far ago and uh, the Trochus have cleaned it up. It looks uh, like it's been scrubbed with a toothbrush, but uh, that's just been all Trochus. $25 aquacultured LPS frags, some SPS frags, and um, absolute heap of uh, these gorgeous button scullies that uh, instant assortment of uh, colors you can put in your tank there. Come over here, we've got this uh, cool arrangement of uh, morphs at the moment. Some of those have been taken out into the display tank, but uh, making sure that there's at least one of each variety still in there for sale. Got some crazy colored deshies. Your red and blue striped, got your gold, pinky gold, slightly more pink. Got some uh, trachophilia that are just on hold at the moment while they uh, color back up again. These guys were uh, in a little bit too much light, so they just bleached out a bit and they're just coming back down. These guys here were in the same sort of position, but uh, have colored back up much, much quicker and nicer. Some big showpiece elegance. And uh, speaking of showpiece, it's an absolutely hectic gold hammer. You see full blown gold, B grade gold, but uh, there's a price difference. You go from 150 discounted from 250 to uh, 800. So if you want legit gold, you gotta pay for it. This is one of my favorite hammers over in this corner here. It's kind of hard to see. It was 300 down to 200. Beautiful yellow stems on it, very, Nice tealy green top. Got some crazy A grade export quality scollies in there. Again, discounted this guy down to $400 from 550. Let's see if I can get a real good shot of the color out of him. Beautiful orange. These two full size scollies up the back there have been here way too long for uh, the colors they are. Pop up the top here. See a wicked little gold stem torch, just a bit upset in the background there. He just got moved. I got some cool pictures of this Akan Echinata. Nice big piece of Monty Cap. Nice rainbow Akan. Some Blasto. A couple of different varieties of Monty, including this really bright uh, Fairy Lights Monty. Some uh, sustainable reef SBS frags that have just been sitting a little too long, so they're just starting to go through. Uh, they're browning out before they color back up again. Nice assortment of uh, scullies. 
Duncan's absolutely stunning trachophilia. And then this guy in the corner here, really dark scented purple scented elegance with a vibrant green rim, blue tips, nothing that's exceptionally crazy in price but uh, just something you don't see every day. A couple of little uh, Wilsoni hiding down here, nice little nano sized Wilsoni. Some more uh, standard sort of elegance here, uh, this tank here runs at $120 Australian or 3 for 300 and uh, the real standout in this tank for me, there's some beautiful torches in here, but uh, this guy hiding in here, he's not showing full color on camera there. I'll see if I can enhance that for you, but uh, very vibrant gold stem with a green heart to it, just beautiful. Some nice bubble corals, great assortment of acans, some chalice, favias. Here, got some nice leathers in, which is cool. People always chasing leathers, and these ones have got some gorgeous bright polyps. Some very nice elegance. There's one in there. This guy up there just seems to be a little bit brighter than the others. Come on over here, we've got uh, some more $120 hammers. So everything in the sand bed here is $120. And then uh, SBS on the shelf, $45 Australian for a uh, Aussie hand caught colony of SBS. This guy here, colors are beautiful. Really nice Monty there too. I like the one on the back, the uh, sort of chocolatey base with the teal polyps. Actually in this tank, I quite like some of the uh, Gonopora down here on the base. Some more soft corals, nice assortment of soft corals in at the moment. Some smaller elegance. Some wicked uh, chalice options up here. I love this uh, bleeding vein one. And the uh, growth rim on this guy here with the bright yellow uh, growth rim is pretty cool. Also love this piece with the uh, teal blue splashes through it. Over here into the uh, NEM tank, you can see a couple of frosted rose bubble tips hiding under there. This gigantic unit which is just attached and floating around. We literally just fitted up uh, two brand new Gen 5 XR15 Ecotex. You've got the uh, Pro on this side, Blue on this side. Both currently set to the same spectrum so you can see the difference. Shows up a little bit more dramatic on uh, camera than it does in person but uh, it's good to be able to show people the difference between the uh, pro and the blue just so they can pick for themselves. Got a little uh, overflow down here of uh, some button scullies. Got some absolutely crazy zoas, including some uh, petroglyphs. <laughs> some uh, gonopori and alveopor up there, some nice uh, candy canes. Some cheaper hammers at $80 each or three for 200. Getting into some of the bargain tanks now with uh, $35 a piece. Wicked, or three for 90, you could pick up three really nice assortment of Acans, Blastos, even some cheap Scullies in there at 35 bucks a piece. Some nice Gonopora. Come around the corner here. This is the $20 tank or $5 SPS brownouts down the bottom, although most of those have been picked up. Got some uh, Xenia frags up there, some toxic green, green star polyp frags. Over into this one here, $35 tank. All these nice aquacultured Montipora. Nice uh, palm tree coral. Some nice uh, beginner spec 
uh, torches and that $35 a piece. Some nice orange fungi ears, some Zola rocks, some wild Zola rocks, and then uh, some uh, Zola tiles, all $35 a piece. All right, guys, just before we wrap things up, I want to show you some of this incredible footage I got of this uh, beautiful, beautiful Ventralis Anthias pair eating up some uh, frozen foods here. Just an absolutely stunning pair of fish. I managed to capture them on the DSLR, so we got those beautiful crispy colors. I apologize, I did not have the tripod, but uh, I hope you enjoy the footage nonetheless because these fish are something that uh, you just have to see in person to really appreciate the colors of them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Sorry it was a bit shorter today. We've been uh, pretty well slammed all day. It's been very, very busy, and um, I just wanted to make sure I got the camera out and got some footage for you guys to check it out while I could. So uh, I stuck to the uh, livestock this time just so uh, I could appetize or feed the appetite of all you guys out there that wanted to see what livestock we got in. As I said, we've got some absolutely cracking corals and fish and as well as um, some nice uh, beginner pieces as well. So something to suit all budgets. Um, Hope the video has been of interest. If it has, give it a thumbs up. As always, if uh, you are yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. Just click that uh, subscribe button down in the corner. And as always, guys, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, pop it in the questions, uh, comment section down below. I will personally respond to each and every one. Thanks again, guys. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Bye.